The village of Neskuchny, devoid of residents, littered with destruction and a handful of Russian corpses. This is one of a number of settlements Ukraine says it seized from Russian occupiers in recent days, as officials claim to be making modest progress in the initial phase of their counter-offensive. Meanwhile, in Moscow, President Vladimir Putin meets journalists and bloggers to share extensive thoughts on what he calls the special military operation. He says Ukrainian losses are, quote, catastrophic and that it's lost more than a quarter of its Western supplied vehicles and 10 times as many men as Russia. Leaked U.S. intelligence suggests, however, that Russia has seen several times more losses than Ukraine. Putin also had a message for Ukraine's allies. If they really want today's conflict to resolve via talks, they just need to take a single decision. Stop supplying arms. That's it. It's not as if Ukraine produces anything itself. <laughs> NATO sees things differently. The more land the Ukrainians are able to liberate, uh, the stronger their hand will be at the negotiating table, and the more likely it is that President Putin will understand that he will never win this battle, that he will never win the war of aggression. In his comments, Putin admitted some failings. He said his military was lacking missiles and drones and said it could have prepared better for recent attacks into Russian territory. Putin also threatened to pull out of a deal allowing Ukraine to continue grain exports, a deal which thus far has prevented a global food crisis.